I'm David Toman, author of NootropicsExpert.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I know about rosemary as a nootropic, what it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Rosemary is a fragrant herb with needle-shaped leaves native to northern Asia and the Mediterranean. Rosemary's medical use dates back to the ancient Greeks and Romans of 500 BC. Greek students wore garlands of rosemary on their head to stimulate memory during exams. Its genus name, Rosmarinus, is derived from the Latin word for dew and belonging to the sea, or marinus, rosemarinus. Legend says that the Virgin Mary took shelter next to a rosemary bush as she fled from Egypt. She threw her blue cape on a rosemary bush and the white flowers turned blue. This is how rosemary, or Rose of Mary, got its name. Rosemary, with its pleasant flavor and aroma and bitter taste, is used in many traditional dishes. Rosemary can be used in the form of fresh leaves, powder, or as an essential oil. Rosemary has also been traditionally used to relieve pain, to improve memory, to increase immunity, and to promote hair growth. Rosemary is an excellent source of calcium, iron, vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin, vitamin C, and provides potent antifungal and antibacterial properties. Compounds found in rosemary oil have been shown to increase memory. The compound 1,8-cineol acts as a, an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, which boosts acetylcholine levels in your brain, in the same way as drugs that are prescribed to treat dementia. A study conducted at Mahidol University in Thailand in 2013 tested rosemary essential oil and its effects on the human central nervous system. Twenty healthy subjects aged 18 to 28 years were asked to inhale the aroma of rosemary essential oil. An EEG found that alpha brain waves decreased and beta brain waves increased after inhalation of the oil. This change in brainwave activity boosted alertness and improved thinking performance. The study confirmed the stimulant effects of inhaling the aroma of rosemary essential oil. Now, rosemary essential oil is also proven as a stress reliever. It acts by lowering cortisol levels. Research shows that rosemary has stimulatory effects on brainwave activity, the atomic nervous system activity, and mood. Rosemary boosts brain health and function in several ways, but two in particular stand out. First, rosemary improves memory. Rosemary has traditionally been used to improve cognitive performance and mood, and those reports have been verified in recent clinical studies. A study conducted at the University of Northumbria in the UK worked with 144 volunteers. In this study, the group who inhaled rosemary essential oil demonstrated an overall improvement in memory and mood. And in 2013, Gemma McCready and Dr. Mark Moss from the University of Northumbria conducted, conducted a study with 66 adults. The focus was on, the perspe on perspective memory, which involves remembering things that were bound to happen in the future or simply remembering things that were critical for everyday functioning. The test group were put into a room infused with rosemary essential oil, and the control group was put into a room with no scent. The study found that the group in the rosemary scented room performed 60 to 75 percent better on prospective memory tasks than the control group. In 2017, the same researchers presented their findings to the British Psychological Society annual conference in Brighton. In a follow-up study, they had recruited 40 children aged 10 to 11 to find if rosemary produced a similar benefit in the young. And once again, the test group were put into a rosemary-infused room, and the control group were put into a room that didn't have any scent. The researchers found that the children in the rosemary-scented room performed 5-7% to 7 better in working memory scores than the kids in the control group. And second, rosemary is neuroprotective. The bioactive compounds found in rosemary are known are known as potent neuroprotectors. Animal research demonstrates that phenolic compounds in rosemary reduces oxidative stress. Uh, animals 
pre-treated with rosemary experienced far less brain damage during an ischemic stroke and recovered with higher neurological scores because of an intact blood brain barrier. Rosemary extract has been used traditionally and in modern times also to relieve pain. Studies show that terpenoid and to a lesser extent rosmarinic acid significantly reduces pain sensitivity. Rosemary protects nerve fibers and prevents the reduction in both myelin thickness and axon diameter and helps maintain the plasticity of glial cells and astrocytes involved in pain maintenance and in turn preventing feelings of pain and alterations in the nervous system induced by nerve injury. Its anti-neuropathic properties can be attributed to rosemary binding to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, which are polypeptides that respond to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. When rosemary binds to these receptors, it reduces neuropathic hypersensitivity and protects nerve tissue. Rosemary has been used for millennia to protect and support brain function. Rosemary is a potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Rosemary can boost concentration and memory. Simply smelling rosemary can help you remember things better. Twenty healthy volunteers performed subtraction and visual processing tasks in a cubicle diffused with the aroma of rosemary. Mood was assessed before and after the test, and blood samples were taken during the study. The study showed improved performance and concentration related to how much 1,8-cineanol was absorbed following exposure to rosemary aroma. Speed and accuracy improved, and there was a significant reduction in feelings of contentment as blood vessels of 1,8-cineanol declined. Reductions in acetylcholine is implicated in neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. Rosemary inhibits acetylcholinesterase activity, which increases acetylcholine levels in the brain. Amyloid B proteins clump to form amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles, causing memory loss in Alzheimer's and dementia. The carnosic acid in rosemary has been shown to suppress the formation of amyloid B plaques. Additional rosemary benefits from consuming or inhaling rosemary include enhanced cognitive performance, elevated alertness, and less anxiety. Many users of rosemary report more energy and better clarity when thinking after taking the supplement. When used as a nootropic, rosemary works as a cognitive stimulant and helps improve memory, alertness, and focus. People who use rosemary essential oil report improved mood, lower stress levels, and fewer episodes of cortisol imbalance. Some report better immunity and blood circulation after supplementing with rosemary, likely due to its rich antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Some neurohackers also like to include rosemary in their diets as a herbal tea or as a seasoning agent in food. It has a lovely aroma and flavor that can energize you instantly. I've got more research and links to clinical studies over on Nootropics Expert in my original Rosemary Review, which is the original transcript for this video. You'll find the link to that transcript below this video. And in the original transcript, I've got more studies on how Rosemary boosts cognitive performance, and a study on how rosemary increases alertness. So again, if you want to see links to all of the studies I referenced in this video, go to the original transcript of this video over on Nootropics Expert. The recommended dosage for rosemary for nootropic benefit is 750 milligrams per day. Rosemary extract standardized to 20% uh, rosemarinic acid, 20% diterpenes, and 9% carnosic acid is 275 milligrams per day. Rosemary essential oil in a diffuser is 1 milliliter or 10 to 40 drops as needed. Rosemary as a nootropic is considered non-toxic and safe when used as recommended. Rosemary has been used by humanity for millennia as a food condiment. So as a nootropic, should be well tolerated by most people. 
Rosemary has been um, shown in animal models to produce sperm count in male rats and abort fetuses in female rats. But keep in mind that the dosage size of the rosemary in rats was 250 to 500 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. So these are much, much higher doses than what we would use as a nootropic. And the authors of this study attributed these side effects to reductions in testosterone caused by high-dose rosemary. So unless you do super, super high doses of rosemary or you're a rat, you should be okay. Do not use rosemary if you are using blood thinning medication or ACE inhibitors used to treat high blood pressure. Do not take rosemary essential oil internally because it could cause vomiting, uterine bleeding, kidney irritation, increased sun sen sensitivity, skin redness, and allergic reactions. And do not use rosemary as a nootropic supplement if you are pregnant because it can stimulate a miscarriage. And if you're breastfeeding, you should use rosemary in moderation. Best to check with your doctor first. And if you are diabetic or pre-diabetic or suffering from insulin resistance, you should avoid using rosemary as a nootropic. And avoid using rosemary if you're undergoing chemotherapy. Rosemary is available as a nootropic supplement in capsules, tablets, and as bags of powder. As an extract, look for rosemary standardized to 20% rosemarinic acid, 20% ditropines, and 10% carnosic acid. Rosemary essential oil can be used in aromatherapy for, or for topical applications on your skin. So my nootropics recommendation for rosemary extract as a nootropic is up to 750 milligrams per day. And that's my report on rosemary. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to Nootropics Expert and search for rosemary, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics over on Nootropics Expert. And if you have any questions or you want to share your experience using rosemary, please use the comment section at the bottom of this, below this video, or at the bottom of my review over on Nootropics Expert. I try my best to respond to comments and questions as quickly as I can. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. It's nearly 100 pages and it contains details on 92 of the most popular nootropics used today. And consider getting a copy of my book Head First, The Complete Guide to Healing and Optimizing Your Brain with Nootropic Supplements. Head First is nearly 600 pages and it's the best guide on the, on the planet for fixing and optimizing your brain. And if you could use some personal help with choosing the right nootropics or figuring out how to deal with your own brain health issues, consider book, booking a co personal consultation with me. You'll find a link to my calendar below this video. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.